The RCMP and local police departments are still raiding medical cannabis shops across Canada, despite Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's criticism of the raids during the recent federal election campaign and the Liberal government's pledge to legalize the plant. With the lack of an official policy change from the new government, Canadian police forces are using their own discretion when choosing to enforce current cannabis laws or not. Until the laws change, police and federal agencies say the closures and prosecutions will persist. The raids are especially common in British Columbia, where last week, RCMP raided dispensaries in Nanaimo, Seychelles, and Mission. According to CBC News, shops in other BC cities have recently received threats for the same, including stores in Vernon and North Okanagan. In Vancouver, home to about 100 dispensaries, cops aren't cracking down on the pot shops, but many are still being shuttered through new municipal regulations. In October, Canada disposed of a prohibitionist government in favour of one that actually campaigned against these raids. So why do they continue? When asked about the recurrent raids during a campaign stop in Winnipeg, Manitoba in July, where police had just closed a medical cannabis shop, Trudeau said the dispensary should be allowed to operate. But now that Trudeau and the Liberals are in charge, they're dead silent about the raids and appear to have no intention of intervening. Because Canada's cannabis laws are currently in a state of transition, activists Jody and Mark Emery are asking the Liberals to announce a moratorium on weed arrests while the new government develops its legalization policy. Given the Liberals repeatedly promised real change and immediate cannabis legalization, this request is more than fair. It's time PM Trudeau stops making promises and starts taking action.